Hey guys, and welcome back to more with Moros. Today's video is going to be an after party cleanup. This is the aftermath of Scarlett's birthday party. If you guys haven't watched our last video, which was her preparation and decorating video, I'll leave that link down below so you guys can see how I set everything up and decorated and prepped for her birthday. But this video is the aftermath. So after having about 10 kids in the house and about 10 adults, I would say, there was stuff everywhere, which I always expect this, expect that. We do have a I would say a smaller house, but the bottom floor can definitely get a lot of crowded if you have that many people. And plus the kids were in and out, so there's dirt, there's younger kids, so of course there's gonna be food on the floor. I always expect that. Um, that's just the reality of having birthdays at home. That's why sometimes I like to have them outside of the home as well. Um, but the first thing you guys know I always like to do is just start with a clean slate. So I try to move in sections, that way I already know that, hey, we cleared off the table, let's go ahead and wipe this down, wipe all the chairs down, and then we'll move to the next thing. So that's usually how I go, is to kind of clean in sections like that, and I don't know why I, had, I said clean slate, that doesn't make any sense. I think I meant to say sections. Anyways, so we started off with the table and just clearing everything off. Now I do get questions about how much I save of the birthday decorations and how much I throw away. So I'm really bad at sometimes, I shouldn't say really bad because I am I can repurpose a lot of stuff, but I can be bad at hoarding a lot of stuff. So I do have multiple bins of birthday decorations because I can use them for other birthdays, but I think I'm getting to the point now where I can probably either start donating or getting rid of a lot of stuff, but I will have to throw out some things and then some things I will keep. Um, but for the most part, I try to keep as much as I can. So balloons, silverware, decorations. Um, but like I said, I think I'm getting to the point where I can start donating that stuff. I'll be honest, there's some stuff that I have in storage bins like from Aria's first birthday. So I think I'll hold on to like the sentimental stuff, like her first birthday hat and things like that. Um, but for the most part, yeah, that, I'll save that for a different video. We'll do like a purging decoration <laughs> video, just not today or probably anytime soon. But anyways, like I was saying, this is the downside of having parties at home because it definitely does get pretty messy with having so many people in your house and then having to take down all the balloons. So I, this is another question I get, what do we do with all the balloons? So sometimes we'll leave the balloon garland up, like for Harlow's, balloon garland we kept it up for at least a week I don't probably longer than that um, but I wanted to have my house back because we've had back-to-back -back parties so I went ahead and took all of the balloons down oh so you guys will probably judge me here in a second when you see me stabbing all of the balloons but I kind of get a little satisfaction out of doing that I'm like let me see how many I can pop as fast as I can with super accuracy so you guys will see that and be like what the heck Brittany are you okay but um, if you guys know a better way I should probably google this because I will say I enjoy the balloons I love having the balloons for the kids birthdays but I do think and acknowledge that they are pretty wasteful so if you guys have any suggestions or ideas of what to do or how to dispose them um, because I do feel bad just blowing them up and then of course it just seems like a waste and throwing them all away so if you guys have any suggestions in that department definitely let me know but uh, now we are moving on into the kitchen which is probably the most taxing part of it all we've learned over the years there's pros and cons to party hosting and prepping if you make all of your food it's definitely going to be a lot cheaper I saved a ton of money I think I spent a little over a hundred dollars on all the food and that was able to feed everybody um, but if I was to get like some platters or cater some food from chick-fil-a we're looking at almost like three hundred dollars so the pros of course to catering is that there's less cleanup there's less preparation but of course if you make your own food you're saving money as well so those are some things to think about but I would almost rather save the money and make my own food I do enjoy like the food prepping and everything behind it as like hectic and stressful as it can feel sometimes um, but it does definitely leave a big mess and then it literally looked like toys 
and balloons and decorations threw up all in our living room. As you can see, I grabbed a few things and I was like, okay, I gotta get out of here. Like this is too much. But Frank started to take down the lanterns and I was trying to think of a way that I could repurpose these because we did end up saving them. You guys, here's a perfect example of the bin on the island full of decorations. I was thinking if the kids ever had a birthday in the future, like a tea party or like a fairy birthday, these would definitely be perfect for those. So I don't know, maybe it's just me trying to justify why I'm hoarding all the decorations decorations but I have gotten questions about this inflatable I actually got this on I believe Amazon it was pretty inexpensive and I've just reused it for all the kids birthdays um, it's great if you want to put it on your porch or patio uh, before your guests enter the house as you can see I'm not the best at folding it up but I just pretty much smoosh it down as much as I can and just stuff it into the box but talking about pros and cons of birthdays and having them at home and not having them at home our next birthday birthday party is actually Aria's. She is turning 10 years old. Her birthday is March 11th. So she says that she wants to have it at a trampoline park. So I'm a little relieved you guys like as much as I love the party prepping and everything. I'm getting a little bit of a break because the plus to that is you don't have to bring well there's not really space to bring a whole bunch of decorations you basically just bring like the silverware the plates and things like that um but also the cleanup everything's included so all the cleanup is done by the people at the trampoline park so um i probably might do a birthday preparation video for arias maybe like showing you guys how I prep for a birthday party outside the house, what to bring and everything like that. So if you guys would be interested in seeing that, definitely let me know and comment down below. I also just realized that it took us about an hour, hour and a half to clean everything up and to wash everything. Um, so that's why this video is not that long. It's probably gonna be around 10 minutes. Uh, but I also wanted to say that Frank and I both tackled this like a team. I will say like when Frank and I have a goal that we're trying to reach or if we're doing something together, we get it done. So this is the part that I was talking to you guys about, the balloons <laughs> and stabbing them. Cause I mean, there's really nothing you can do other than pop them. I don't know how else, you know, I don't know. I just look like a psychopath stabbing all the balloons as fast as I can. Look, I even have like the full hand stabbing motion. Actually, as I'm doing this voice recording, we still have those light curtains up. I have like refused to take them down. It's been a couple weeks later now, but I love them so much. They are so pretty, but I think what we're going to do instead of just throwing them out is going to repurpose them. And well, I wouldn't throw them out anyways. I would save them, but I think instead of just putting it in a bin, um, maybe we'll hang them up in Aria's room on one wall so she'll just have all those pretty fairy lights trailing down so I think that's what we decided to do and also if you are needing some help some cleaners just get yourself a cute little cleaner like Fletcher give him a mop I don't know why but he is so fascinated with the brooms and the mops anytime he can get his hands on them he'll just walk around with them so you might as well just go ahead and put some solution on the bottom of it and just let your kids mop around um as i was thinking i was like why didn't i or why didn't we get out our robot vacuum we should have just gotten that out and just mopped and let it vacuum the whole floor um but i didn't even know what to do with all of the toys that scarlet got so i just threw them all on the couch so that i could vacuum and clean the rug i mean obviously eventually we took them up to her room but she got so many so many toys just another thing with having so many kids and having so many birthdays and it just being a couple months after Christmas is I feel like there's toys everywhere everywhere I'm thinking should I just like start asking people to like donate to like their college fund or their savings account or something like that because we have so many toys you guys I feel like I'm constantly purging toys I will say my kids are very lucky and they're also very grateful for all of their toys as well but Oh man, do we have a ton of guys, toys. Guys, Frank was a lucky guy. He was a lucky guy to do all of those dishes. <laughs> I mean, we should have done like rock, paper, scissors or something. He actually offered. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to turn that down. I'm not going to say no. Go ahead and do the dishes. But he ended up just putting everything in the dishwasher. strategically washed all the dishes prior because we knew like once the party was over, we needed 
all of the dishwasher to be empty so that we could basically just go ahead and load everything in there. But I think that was the last thing that we ended up for doing. Oh, yep, it was. It was the last thing that we ended up doing. And I'm kicking myself for not showing you guys the after and everything cleaned up. But you guys, after the party, whew, we were exhausted. We were so tired. So by the time that we got everything cleaned up and got the kids in bed, we like passed out on the couch. We were so tired. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this aftermath cleanup birthday video. I know it was a little bit shorter of a video than we normally do, but regardless, I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will definitely do some more birthday related videos in the future because I know how much you guys enjoyed them. But I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. The next couple videos that you guys will see is going to be the kids bathroom makeover video. So I hope you guys are getting excited for that and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.